I'm now going to mix some mortar using this mixing tray. To do that we're going to use some cement and some sand in a ratio of four sand to one cement. To measure out the sand and cement I'm using these empty paint tins. I'm going to use four of the sand and one of the cement. That will give us the correct ratio for the mortar mix that we're going to be using. If you don't want to mix your own mortar, you can buy it ready mixed in convenient tubs like this. It does work out more expensive, but it is extremely convenient for small patch up repairs. As well as the sand and cement, we need some clean water. So I've got the clean water there in a bucket ready, and I've also added some plasticizer to the water. That will entrap air in the mix and it will make the mortar easier to use when we come to do the job. I'm going to start off by emptying four tubs of sand onto the mixing tray. I've now put four tins of sand on here and that was actually one full bag so that is actually 20 litres of sand. So I'm now going to add the five litres of cement to this mix. Hey, I'm wow. And then we can empty the cement onto the sand. If you're doing this in a confined space you should really wear a dust mask. Now we can mix the sand and cement together. Once you've got it mixed to a uniform colour, you can then make an indentation in the middle to add the water. It's important when you add the water that you don't add too much, you can always add more later on. Once you've got your mortar suitably mixed like that, you can then use it. You've got a couple of hours working time now with that mortar before it'll start going hard. So there's no real urgency with it. For the next mix, we don't need to measure out the sand. We can just put a full bag in there, which is 20 litres. And then we can fill up the five litre container with the cement and then we can mix that together.